Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we are going over another real estate math practice question. If you're new here in this series, we cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. If you have any math questions you want me to cover, you can drop them down below and they may be featured in a future video. If you want to try real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam, so make sure to click that like button and subscribe that way you're fully prepared come exam day anyways let's jump right into it so we're doing another appreciation slash depreciation question this week so let's take a look all right so the question says the value of a property is ninety one thousand dollars today what was the original cost of the property if it lost 35 percent of its value over the past five years and it gives us four options. All right, so like usual, I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity to pause here, figure out the problem, and then we're gonna go over the answer and of course, break down how we got the answer. So go ahead and do that right now. All right, hopefully you guys came up with your answer, and of course, hopefully it's the correct answer. If you need more time, feel free to pause, no biggie. So let's break this down. So first and foremost, what is our answer for the problem? Well, it's going to be C, that's right, it's $140,000, $140,000. ,000. So how did we get that? So first things first, if you are remembering, this is very similar to our video, our first video on Monday on depreciation. It's almost identical. The numbers are just different. So what we're doing in this problem first is we're taking this 35%, which is, again, the total amount of depreciation. And we want to subtract that by 100% to give us the amount that uh, of today's value. So whatever it would be. So it would be 100% minus... 35%, and again, that's gonna give us 65%, which means that the value of the property is currently worth 65% of what it used to be. So from there, we need to look at this number here, the value of the property today, and we're gonna be taking that $91,000, and we're going to multiply that by, or I'm sorry, we're going to divide that by, are 0.65 or 65%. And what is that going to give us? Well, that's going to give us $140,000. That's right. And that is our answer, C. So the value, of course, being lost of five years is irrelevant in this instance. Now, you might be sitting there wondering, well, when would it not be relevant? And we're going to get into that a little uh maybe probably like later this week. But a good example would be if the question asked maybe uh, if it lost 35% over its value over the past five years, how much did it lose per year or something like that. Um, but again, when they throw all these questions at you, they like to add in all this information. Sometimes there's a lot of useful information in the question and sometimes they just add some stuff to try and throw you off. Um, but yeah, so again, two steps in this problem. The first step, again, is taking that 100% minus it by 35%, um, which is, again, the value that it lost. And then from there, when you take the number, you're just taking the today's value and then you're dividing it by that 65%, uh, which would be, again, today's value. Um, so you take today's price and then divide by today's value and then uh, in terms of percentage, and then that gives you that one hundred and forty hundred thousand dollars So yeah, and then of course, alternatively, uh, I, I do want to mention you could divide the value of the property today and divide it by each option individually to find out which option max ma matches 65%. But again, um, that way, I think personally think takes longer. Um, but if you guys did it that way and you prefer that way, no biggie. But yeah, all right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you guys learned something, hopefully enjoyed. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, all that good stuff, leave them down below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. I'll see you guys next time. Make today magical.